Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Bell & Ross BR05. This is probably one of the most controversial watches of the past few months, just based on the fact that it is designed very similar to many of the sports watches from other brands, such as the Patek Philippe Nautilus and the AP Royal Oak. It kind of incorporates elements from both of those watches into this piece. Um, so getting into this watch you can see that it has both brushed and polished surfaces and the bracelet it, i mean it really looks like a mix between the nautilus bracelet and the um the ap royal oak bracelet uh, it looks like the nautilus bracelet because it has these kind of center links that are polished and then brushed uh, main links and then it looks like the royal oak just because the links are flat and kind of uniform with the case i know they are in the nautilus as well but it just looks a little bit more like the ap in terms of uh how it's flat. Um, and then getting on to the dial, you obviously it has, see it has very similar hands to the Nautilus and, uh, and or Royal Oak. Um, and then it has the signature kind of Gerald Genta style uh, bezel on the piece. But overall, the finishing is actually really nice. I love the blue that they incorporated on the dial. There are several other dial combinations that you can have on this piece. Um, and getting on to the case back, it has a clear case back with a fairly utilitarian movement. It's got the Bell & Ross, hang on, I'll focus a little bit better. It has the Bell & Ross caliber uh, 321 movement, which is not in-house. I believe it's Salita based, possibly ETA. Uh, they don't specify on the website, but it is not in-house. Um, and overall, this watch comes in at a price of $4,900. Now, the finishing on the movement or, sorry, the finishing on that overall case and everything would justify that, but in my opinion, the finishing on the movement and the fact that it's a Bell and Ross and the resale value tends to be fairly poor for these pieces, um, it does not justify that. If you do want to purchase this watch, I would recommend that you do sell on the pre-owned market. Um, and getting into a wrist shot of this piece, you can see, first of all, it has the double deployment clasp, a double deployment clasp, sorry. And it's got a 40 millimeter case size, which is perfect in my opinion. 40 millimeters is great for kind of a dressy, sporty watch, um, kind of a hybrid between the two, rather. And I think that it would look good on most people's wrist. It would definitely fit under a dress cuff, uh, dress shirt cuff. And uh, just for comparison purposes, I, my wrist has a circumference of 6.5 inches. So now. Um, I'd just like to give a special thanks to J.B. Hudson Jewelers in Minneapolis, Minnesota. They're an authorized retailer of Bell & Ross for lending us this piece for this review. Uh, we'll be leaving a link in the description to their website as well as our channel store where we've listed our favorite watches and watch accessories. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and definitely hit the notification bell if you do subscribe because we regularly upload videos and that's the only way that you will um, be notified of that. So remember to hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.